everyone and welcome back to my channel so today we are doing this fun everyday spring look if you all want to see that then keep on watching alrighty and for this everyday spring look I am taking my Becca backlight priming filter I am choosing this one today because it gives a very lovely glow and we want that glow to really brighten up the complexion and just look amazing so now I am taking my NYX Glitter Primer because I have read that when you use a glitter primer it helps uh, keep the makeup on your nose. So I am doing that because as we all know that you know our sunglasses move it around and just makeup just gets moved around on the nose so you really want to tap that in. And taking my Born This Way Foundation by Too Faced taking it in the shade nude and taking my skin perfecting foundation brush we are simply going to spray it with some setting spray here from MAC it is the prep and prime spray and just lightly going over the face I'm just taking my Physicians Formula Insta Ready Full Coverage Concealer in the shade Light. And this is a really good concealer, guys. It is definitely one of my top favorites here. So you just want to take a little bit of that and the adorable little sponge that came with it using the smaller end. Just kind of tapping that on and then taking the rounder end and just blending the in going to set that with the Too Faced Peach Perfect Setting Powder. Taking a little tapered sponge here and just really baking the under eye because once I have explained before it really helps to just set everything that we have put in place with the foundation and concealer and once again with the nose as well and anywhere else we had put a lot of concealer taking a powder puff and just lightly going over the face with that we only want enough powder to have our foundation and concealer set because if we have too much it'll give a really powdery appearance and we are going for an everyday spring look where it's fun and fresh. So while that bakes, I am taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer in the shade Dark Brown. And now that the brows are done, we are simply going to take a fluffy brush and just swipe off the excess powder. Now that that is done, it is time to go in with the contouring. Now, I don't want to go crazy because once again, I wanted to go for a more light spring look. So, just taking my Hoola bronzer and a bronzing brush, we are lightly going to go over with that.
taking now our blush brush and the Tarte uh, Amazonian Clay Blush in the shade Party. This is a very light natural shade. And for me, I find it best for tapping instead of swiping because it feels like it just really kind of presses in more and it doesn't like um, disrupt and disturb any of the other layers that we have going on. Taking now a small brush here and my e.l.f. highlighter in the shade Moonlight Pearls. And this is just going to give us more of a soft and subtle glow. Also going back in with the Hula Benefits and simply just contouring our nose very lightly. And now it is time to move on to the eyes. Alrighty, so I've already primed my eyelids with the Wet n Wild Eyeshadow Primer. And I am simply taking a fluffy brush here and I am now taking the Soft Glam palette and I am taking the shade Tempore and just setting the shadows with that. Going in now with Orange Soda. And we are putting that in our crease. Taking now the shade Burnt Orange. Putting that lightly in the crease. Going in now with the shade Rustic. And we are very lightly going to take that one Put that in our crease as well. And just taking a little bit of the shade Sienna. And putting that in the outer corner. And I am simply taking a little flat brush and spraying it with the Max Fix Plus Spray. And we are going in with the shade Glistening right here. And we are going to be putting that all over our lid. I'm just taking this little smudge brush and I am taking the shade Burnt Orange and we are running that all along the lower lash line. And taking now my angled eyeliner brush and we are going in with the shade Cypress Umber here, this dark brown. We are be going to be doing a shadow wing. And then we are just taking a little bit of tempura on the same brush. We are just going to kind of clean it up a little. And I am loving the shadow wings. They are soft, yet they still give definition. Taking now my eyelash curler.
And now I am taking my Roller Lash by Benefit. And if you guys haven't tried this mascara yet, it is a gorgeous mascara. It is very light and natural, so that is why I am using it today. Now that we have done all that, I am simply going in with the shade Tempura. And I am just putting that to highlight my brow bone there. And taking a little bit of the shade below Glistening. And just putting that in our inner tear duct. And I am taking the Marc Jacobs highlighter in the shade Pink of Me. And we are just simply putting that in our waterline. And that really helps open up and brighten the eyes. Taking now my Too Faced Peach Blur Blurring Powder and just my favorite blurring powder brush here. Tell me in the comments down below guys what your favorite part of spring is. For me, I like the weather. I am a warmer weather kind of person. Summer is my favorite season of the year. Spring is a close second. Just there's sunshine, there's flowers. Spring is an amazing season. Alrighty, I am just taking some Nevia lip butter and I am taking the Raspberry Rose Kiss and I am just taking a little lip brush here and just lightly going over the lips. And the reason I use this is because it really helps with moisture, with lipsticks, especially if you're using a liquid lipstick. Um, it just gives a little extra care to your lips. Um, I am actually using the Tarte Tardis Glossy Lip Paint, and I could not find a shade name on here, but it is a gorgeous soft pink. As you can see, it's very natural, yet still gives a hint of color. Taking now my MAC Prep and Prime and just going over the face. And we are good! Alrighty, I hope you all liked this everyday spring tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to check out the awesome social media shout out in the description box below. My social media links are there as well. Love you guys! Bye!